This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, this uh, lecture is a very short one on uh, journal entries. You can see uh, in the lecture notes, the um, it's a very short chapter. Um, uh, but what it is, the, the word journal is another word for diary. And when double entry was first invented, I mentioned earlier by a monk called Pacioli. Uh, in addition to doing the debits credits in the accounts in the nominal ledger, every entry was written down in a book. The journal, the diary, was written down in words saying we're debiting this, we're crediting this, and this is the reason. Uh, now obviously these days that's completely impractical. Uh, many companies still have a book called the Journal, uh, one of the books of prime entry, uh, but they only use it to record unusual transactions. Um, if there's a transaction like charging depreciation, which doesn't fit in any of the standard books of prime entry, uh, then they might have this extra book called the Journal, where they write down um, we've debited depreciation expense, we've credited accumulated depreciation, um, and they actually write down what they've done. Now, as far as the exam's concerned, apart from being aware it is one of the, um, it can be one of the books of prime entry, um, the uh, real relevance in the exam um, is occasionally you could be asked, for instance, we have paying uh, electricity for cash, which of the following is the correct entries? And the entries will be written in words. Do we debit cash, credit electricity? Or do we credit cash, debit electricity? And so on. Um, well, whenever an entry is written in words, we call it a journal entry. Uh, and there's a very standard way of writing an entry in words. So just look at example one, and I'll show you. It says the business purchase, purchases goods for resale from Mike for two and a half thousand on credit. Now we know what the entry is. If we we're writing up the T accounts, what do we do? Uh, we buying goods on credit, so we debit purchases to five hundred. We credit payables. Now that's the entry, the double entry in the T accounts. However, if we wanted to write it in words, you know, maybe somebody's emailed me and says, I don't know what the entry is. What is the entry? And I type back, you debit purchases, credit payables. Well, whenever you write an entry in words, we always write the debit entry first. So debit purchases. To 500, and we always write the credit entry second. Uh, and in the old days, we would inset a bit credit payables 2500. Uh, now, the insetting these days doesn't matter, but it's the debit entry first, the credit entry second. Uh, and uh, strictly, we should write below why we've done the entry. Um, what is this? It's uh, to record the um, purchase of goods on credit. Uh, from whoever it was, Mike. Uh, oh, sorry, where's it gone? There it is. Uh, now, of course, in this book I referred to, where there could be uh, writing down several entries, um, we draw a line and then we write the next one down and so on. However, as far as the exam is concerned, we're not really concerned about what we call the narrative, the description. It's simply writing an entry in words. It's always the debit first and the credit second. And you will, if you ever look back at earlier chapters, um, I think in accruals and prepayments, at the end of the chapter, I've written down what the various entries were, and you will see I've always written the debit one first and the credit one second. Okay, so that's all it is.